Okay, so this video is about just general paragraphing organization. Um, and again, we didn't get a chance to talk about this in class, so I wanted to make sure that I addressed it in here. So this is literally just review of everything that we've been talking about throughout the year this year. Um, and this is something that I saw in not all paragraphs, but this is think of this as just a refresher, okay? So um, every paragraph begins with a topic sentence. Humans are social creatures and, and feel the need to connect with each other with, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I cannot read. So humans are social creatures and feel the need to connect with other people around them. All right, so that is a statement that the student is making. That's the argument that they have to support throughout the rest of this. Then what we've got is typically there's some type of transition, um, but notice how there is no transition. So I don't know what they're going to start talking about. It needs transition. Actually, why am I doing that? I'm just going to, I'm just going to type it. Needs transition. So that is not what's happening here. There needs to be a transition between those two sentences. Um, but then as we continue, uh, quote, we thrive on, in fact, we need social interaction to maintain a healthy life and mind. So there's a couple things here. Number one, there's a, there's a period in the wrong place that needs to be right here. Number two, it is misspelled here that should be capitalized. Then number three, this entire pair or this entire sentence is nothing but a big quote. That's not good. So like there's 0% of that sentence that comes directly from the student. Um, so the use of evidence is not effective. Then they don't transition into their evidence, which is also not effective. But then I conti we continue into the next sentence. The advent of social media has made it easier than ever before. Has made that easier than ever before? Like what's that? I don't know what that is referring to. Um, that is unclear. So the word that, I don't know, like maintaining a healthier mind and body, social interaction, like what is what is that that's referring to? So, so like social creatures and feel the need to connect with other people is around them is the thesis statement or is the topic sentence, I'm sorry, but I don't know how this, I don't know how this relates. I have no idea what that commentary is doing to help understand the rest of the paper or the rest of the, the evidence. So like commentary is unclear. So absolutely, this commentary doesn't make sense. Um, and so I'm going to put that right up here. Okay. So the commentary is unclear. But then they continue. Um, however, all right, so I've got a transition. Maybe they're going to transition into something else. However, it can be hard to find other people who share common ideas with you. Okay. So again, we talked about that earlier, the use of the word you. Now, I don't know, like, is that in a relationship to this? Uh, probably. I'm pretty sure they're talking about like, oh, so like social media like allows for connection, but there's not a clear connection. And then they've got this random sentence, enter the hashtag. What? That seems really unclear. I don't know, like that just seems, it's very abrupt and it disrupts the paragraph. Hashtags let anyone immediately find people posting about the same topic they want to see. Um, so here you'd want to have another, a better transition. So another transition that might say like, um, who or when to use a hashtag, um, that might be a good idea to put in there. But right now, there's just in general, not very clear. It's talking about something and I'm unsure about where this relates to or how it relates to the rest of the paragraph. Um, then it says, thousands of people can share their idea on a topic by adding a hashtag to their post. That might have been good earlier. Um, then it says, for example, in September 2013, nearly 6,700 people used hashtag mental patient to protest an offensive Halloween costume. Um, okay, so now they're giving some information. The protest became a top story on national news and the costume was recalled. There is a run on here, so there should be a comma. This shows the immense power. So it says, this shows 
not good use of commentary. We had talked about that. Commentary should not say this. This shows or this explains. It's not the evidence that shows it. You do. So you don't say this shows. Instead, you can say like this, mo uh, not even this movement, um, the ubiquity or the, 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 um, the communication that permeates social media brings people together, something along those lines. So it should not, like, you should tell me specifically what this is. Are you talking about, like, that specific hashtag? Are you talking about that specific amount of people? Are you talking about the national news? I don't know what this is referring to, and that's why we don't use it. So it says, this shows the immense power that social media has to bring people together and to, quote, make it harder to minimize their experience. So then they end with evidence, and you're missing commentary. So overall, what is the commentary? I don't know what it is. Why am I typing it? Why am I writing it? I could just type it out. So they end with a source, and you kind of want to avoid that. Instead, you want commentary. Like, you need to explain why these connections are important. Okay? There needs to be a, there needs to be a commentary there. And, like, I don't know how this actually... <clears throat> Notice how, like, the topic sentence itself is talking about the need to connect. How does this piece of evidence show the need to connect? Instead, it says the immense power of connection. I think that's what it's talking about because it says this. I don't know what this is. But anyways, but they're not telling me how it shows a need to connect. So in general, what you need to do is you need to remind yourself. Here are the different parts of a paragraph. Topic sentence. So you've got that. Okay, and no evidence in the topic sentence. Then you've got a transition that moves into evidence. Okay, then you've got commentary that explains why the evidence is important. So how it proves the topic sentence. Then after that, you've got another transition that moves into more evidence. Then you've got commentary again. And then you've got some kind of concluding statement um, and transition into, into next paragraph that shows, shows relationship between paragraphs. Or you can do this. You've got the topic sentence. Again, no evidence. Then you've got a trend. Uh, you've got a transition, and it moves into evidence. Then, if your evidence is very similar to the first piece of evidence, if your second piece of evidence is similar, or if it's saying the exact same thing, then you would use another transition and move that into more evidence. And then you'd have big time commentary. So the evidence here might be one to two sentences. The evidence here might be one to two, oh, not ten, one to two sentences. Um, and then your commentary here is probably going to be closer to three to four sentences. Because up here, your commentary would have been one to three, maybe one to three, but this is going to be uh, substantially larger. And you would use this, you'd use this organizational pattern if your evidence is very closely related to each other. You would use this if you're showing perhaps a different relationship between the evidence. And this you would use, that's on page 12. So like how to do different synthesis, that's on page 12 here. Um, and then at the end here, you'd have, again, the concluding statement. And then, or tra and transition into paragraph, into next paragraph. So that's what I would have discussed um, in class today concerning the paragraph. And again, this is just review of what we had been we have been doing all year.